Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ron Navarrete for OutsideThePhotoPit.com, and this is the One Question Interview. Uh, joining me for this uh, very special interview is this lovely lady right here, who is very special to me uh, uh, professionally, as I'm losing my uh, my <laughs> sense of speak. Uh, the lady, the lady right here is uh, Liza Quinn. She is amazing, an amazing singer-songwriter based here in Miami. I am a Miami-based music and portrait photographer. So how you doing? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Now so we. Nice to see you. Likewise, likewise. <laughs> now, uh, Liza had just finished her uh, her show here at Bougie's Bar. I here. I'm all sweaty here. You're glistening. <laughs> I guess you could yeah. say that. Sure, glistening. I'm glistening. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, the um, so the one question interview is going to be really, really short and sweet. But okay. before we get to that, uh, there are some uh, shameless plugs that we need that we need to address. Okay. So the Do first that. shameless plug is please tell everyone how they can follow you on social media. Okay, well it's all at Liza Quinn, L-I-Z-A-Q-U-I-N. Four letter balance, you can't miss it. It's Quinn with one N, and it's Liza Quinn all across the board, so. Very nice. If you uh, Google me, just find it and follow. And I'd love to uh, get to know you. It'd be awesome. Uh, shameless plug number two, uh, talk about any current projects you're working on. Well, I'm currently working on a solo EP, and I also have a project with an amazingly talented guy named Robbie Elias, and we have a single that we put out for charity for the Human Rights Campaign called Me Veo en Ti. It's in Spanish. We're both Cuban-American, and it's currently out on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. And uh, we have a behind-the-scenes video on YouTube slash Liza and Robbie. So that's our other shameless plug, and we hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, definitely check out their video. It's really, really cool. Yeah. All right, now, third shameless plug. Okay. When and where are your next performances? Oh, um, actually, you can catch us right here at Bougainvillea's on September 4th um, for the long weekend, for Labor Day weekend. It's a Sunday, so we're going to ring in the uh, the Monday off right here at Bougainvillea's, the band. Very nice, very, very nice. <laughs> now, of course, all of her social media that she just mentioned, as well as the other shameless plugs, that'll be posted in the comment section below um, uh, on YouTube. Now, are you ready for that one question? I'm so ready. Let's do this. All right. Okay. So, uh, talk about that period of time in your life when you first fell in love with music. Oh, that's easy. I was just talking. I was just talking to my. Well, I posted something on my Facebook today about that because I saw this video of this musician that um, he started playing next to homeless, uh, um, to homeless guys that were asking for money because he felt like uh, one, of the, one of the one of the women that approached him said, man, this would be easier if I had your guitar. And he, was, he thought about it and he said, man, I should sit next to you and play and maybe you'll make more money. And it turned into a thing. And it, it went viral and it's so fascinating. And I saw it today and I, I, I literally started to cry. And the reason, look, I'm gonna cry right now. And the reason being is because it reminds me of why I do what I do. And I remember when I was a kid, um, I used to go with my mom to the tent cities after Hurricane Andrew. And we used to perform for the people of the tent cities. Oh, wow. Yeah, it chokes me up. And um, I decided to do that because I wanted to make people forget about all the, all the crappy things they were going through, you know? And, um, and that was the moment that I decided that this is what I wanted to do for you. Because when you can kind of disconnect from your reality, whether it be amazing or horrible in the moment, and, and you can dance and you can sing and you can sing along with other people and you can connect with people and music helps you escape for a second from whatever you're going through, um, that connection with the audience is what made me decide to do this. And, um, and that was the moment. And I posted that today because that video reminded me of that. So I do things like musicians on call and things like that. Um, because I feel like it's important for me to always stay grounded and always remember the reason why I do this. You know, all the other stuff that comes with it is awesome. Right. It's um, it's a plus. Hey guys, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're in the streets of Miami. We're doing all the other stuff is a plus and it's wonderful. I've traveled the world. I've met amazing celebrities. I've worked with amazing people. But really, the beautiful thing is when someone hits me up and tells me, "Man, that song helped me through this tough time," or um, watching you sing changed. My my mood or change my life you know 
and I've, I've experienced that and it's a really powerful thing. So to not get too long-winded, yeah. that's the reason why I do what I do, it's that connection with people. Okay, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of, uh, of the interview how, how Liza is very special to me, professionally speaking, because when I first, I moved here in, uh, to Miami, uh, December of 2014, six months later. God, has it been that long? That's yes. Crazy. Six months later, I saw her photo on, uh, on Instagram, um, and she had a gig here at, uh, at Bougain Villas, and then I contacted her saying, I would love to photograph your performance, and she said yes, and so that's how everything got started. And so from her, um, I was able to meet uh, lots of other musicians, other groups around the Miami music circuit, and it's taken off to where I have my one question Hello, interview. I'm so happy to see it. So Ron was fresh from LA, and um, I was excited to kind of pull him into our music scene over here. Yep. And I loved that you loved music. You know what I mean? You were a music oh, yeah. lover. It wasn't just about like, oh, I just want to take some. No, you were genuinely loved the music. You loved the acts. You were fascinated by the stories that people had to tell here, and um, that's why we connected. And I think yep. it's really cool, and it's amazing to watch how it's grown. And I'm really happy for you. So I'm thrilled that I get to be a part of the one question interview. I'm honored. Yes. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm glad. That makes and, me happy. Um, so make sure you stay following Ron. Um, <laughs> photos. Great. More stuff to come. Oh yes. Oh yes. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the one question interview. Uh, you can follow um, and check up on past episodes of the one question interview on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as on my website, OutsideThePhotoPit.com. Again, all of her contact information, social media wise, will be on the bottom of the screen. Plus, if you go to my website, OutsideThePhotoPit.com, you'll see the link below where you'll find all the images that I've taken, not only of her, but also with her partner, Mr. Robbie Elias. Yeah, you want to check him out at Robbie Elias Music. Yes. Yes. He's an amazing, amazing <laughs> singer. Very tall, but an amazing singer. And amazing. Tall and amazing. Yes. Can't go wrong. All Thank right. You, Ron. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Liza, for, uh, for your time. Uh, this has been the One Question Interview. I'm Ron Navarrete for OutsideThePhotoPits.com. Bye for now. <laughs>